Hey all, and welcome back for another Hellfire Comms Patreon TV Com. We've got a double bill for you all today, and we are going to be checking out The Origins, which is a two-parter from The Amazing World of Gumball, Season 4, Episodes 20 and 21. And if you don't know what Gumball is, it's a currently, question mark, running show on the Cartoon Network. It runs alongside, like, Steven Universe, Adventure Time, before that eventually gets its finale, whenever that is happening. And uh, I'll read you a little bit of uh, the summary on uh, Wiki. Uh, it was created by Ben Bukele, I think that's how you pronounce that, uh, produced primarily by Cartoon Network Studios Europe, first aired on May 3rd, 2011. The series revolves around the lives of 12-year-old Gumball Watson, a blue cat, and his best friend, adopted brother Goldfish Darwin, who attend middle school in the fictional city of Elmore. They frequently find themselves involved in various shenanigans around the city, during which time they interact with Gumball's family members, sister and nice, and parents Nicole and Richard, and an extended supporting cast of characters. You ever heard of Gumball before, Volk? I've heard about it here and there. It came around that time where I stopped watch watching Cartoon Network extensively, and it was in the same lieu as when the shows like Adventure Time were popping up, Gumball, Chowder... There's a couple of more dotted around in there as well, but it was around about the era. Oh yeah, regular show was also in there, which I've heard very good things about. Yeah, that's another show that I never got around to watching, honestly. But yeah, I never really had the chance to properly get into it, although, especially recently over the last year or two, I have been seeing a lot of people posting clips of it. So, obviously it's doing something right, and I'm looking forward to seeing what it's about. Yeah, it's very meme-tastic. One unique feature, says the wiki, of the series is its lack of stylistic unity. Characters are designed, filmed, and animated using multiple styles and techniques. Stylized traditional animation, puppetry, CGI stop-motion, flash animation, live-action, etc. So, uh, I'm in interested to see what the Origins has to offer. Now, both of these are separate episodes, even if they make up one continual story. So, load up episode one, well, episode one of Origins, anyway, and get that ready, and uh, we'll lead you into it as usual, and uh, when the episode is done, stop it, load up episode two, and uh, we'll just banter for a bit while you set up episode two, and then we'll lead you into that, so on and so forth, much like we did with the three episodes of Samurai Jack covered previously. All right, Rock, you ready to go? I'm good to go. All right, here we go. The origins in three, two, one. Okay, Koki, the amazing world of Gumball. I'm already seeing that uh, lack of stylistic unity here. It's like a fucking fever dream. It is a montage of all the various animation and drawing techniques, just all rolled into a single 15 seconds-ish intro. This is, um... I'm sure animated shows have done this before, where it's like they have how everything begun way later in the series. Yeah, um, I can remember an episode of Ed, Ed, and Eddie where they don't really go into how they met until way, way later on. Like, maybe season three or four. So, I think it's just a thing that a lot of cartoons have gotten their habit into. They kind of already have a tone set up, and they don't really get into it until they sort of want to throw in some curveballs and say, oh, but this is what happened before the show started, sort of deal. Oh, man, Gumball seems to be a bit of a problem, child. When will his shenanigans end? Judging by the uh, Wikipedia description, not any time soon. <laughs> oh, man. He is adorable, Jesus Christ. Yet yeah, the live action and animation makes the animation pop so much more. I'm all for drawn backgrounds and things like that, but <laughs> if the focus is going to be on the characters, having something like IRL backgrounds works really, really well. You don't get to see it all that often. I think it was a technique that most people used in some of the old cartoons just to help cut costs, but here they use it for an entirely different purpose. <laughs> he just tied himself up. <laughs> it's just like, and then he died. I'm not entirely sure what, like, day and age, like, modern Gumball takes place in, but the dad wearing plaid firmly sets this in the 90s, in my mind. Yeah, he sort of, like, got that whole... Yeah, like ten years ago, I listened to less than Jake bowling for soup and you found glory. <laughs> yes, indeed. Yes, let's get the uh, the four year old a pet. No doubt that will end well. Y he destroyed the house. Let's go over goldfish next. Maybe he won't destroy this one. We'll see. D don't don't breathe just yet. 
It's kind of nice that in the first two minutes, they sort of already gotten into reasons why I would never want to be a parent. Oh, my God. <laughs> it's just far too much work for me. I, I massive respect to anyone that can manage to do it, but I don't think it'll do for me. <laughs> Jabuk's fantastic. <laughs> They're saying, ooh, Peter, those are Cheerios. <laughs> I'm just thinking back to the episode of The Simpsons with Quidgybo. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, kids will talk about anything, so I think many a comedian has said, just tune them out. Like, it's not neglect or anything, your brain just literally can't handle that level of questioning and whatnot. It is very difficult to cope because when you don't have the answer and they're just pestering you constantly for an answer to that question, they're just like, oh my god, shut up! <laughs> it's not even plugged in. <laughs> Oh, you- oh my god, you little shit! <laughs> <laughs> you made us flaming moes, how thoughtful! That is- is that a Simpsons reference? I'm pretty sure it is. It's probably the reference when the Homer vs. Smithers happens, <laughs> and he sets fire to the bowl of cereal. Oh, classic. Oh, I see. So, yeah. It's dead as shit. <laughs> this is, I'm sure it's no surprise by now, one of those shows that prides itself in being quote-unquote for children, but there are so many jokes that would go completely over their heads and tickle the adults just as much. <laughs> yeah. Put it back in the bowl. It's fine. <laughs> what the hell is he doing? Uh, why not just buy an immortal goldfish? You can solve yourself myriads of problems. Or buy a plastic one. Will he be able to tell the difference? I'm not convinced. <laughs> of course. <laughs> that one was entirely on you, Nicole. I'm sorry. I'm going to be picturing Swingler in my head for... So long after this is done, I swear. I've gone through so bad. <laughs> oh my god, he killed the goldfish. <laughs> Jeez, Orange, you probably should see a doctor about that, my dude. Okay, this is becoming a farce now. <laughs> <laughs> okay, the comedic pacing of this is great. <laughs> what the fuck was that? <laughs> Well, I'm sorry, sir, but you murdered every single one. How much must he have spent? I mean, I mean, a fish is only $2.50 in this world, apparently, but it must have gone through quite a few. Well, let's see. It says here, the first six, so uh, 250 times six, you can work that out. That would be $15 he dues. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure what it is about the simple jokes like that that just tickle me so immensely. It's just like, oh my god, a talking van. No, I'm in the van, idiot. Except the Frogurt, that's cursed. <laughs> the fool dad, the intelligent mother, that's the dynamic. Oh my god, it's an anthropomorphic fish. Maybe this one won't fucking bite it. You see, the problem with the others was they were realistic in a world of cartoons. Yeah, there's just far too much cartoon tomfoolery for a real person or a real object to possibly comprehend and survive in this world. This is perfect. Fish is just there thinking, fuck yeah, I am. <laughs> yeah, piranhas. He has become self aware. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, they're copying us. The fish will take over the land.
Are you copying me? Oh! <laughs> and at that point, they became bros forever. <laughs> Well, you're saying stupid things, but yes, I can. Ah, oh, that's just cute as heck. Well, at least he learned after the, what, third, fourth time? Oh, that's not fair. I don't accidentally die pulling off this prank. <laughs> Uh-oh, I think some sweet chariot is going to go on. Is that more or less tragic, considering this one had, like, intelligence and whatnot? Good question. I guess, maybe, but then again, it is a cartoon world. I'm pretty sure things like this is top part of the territory. You can pinpoint the exact moment where his heart broke in two. Okay, Nicole, you puss. Literally and metaphorically. It's like you're halfway there, then you turned the car around and went back to Winnipeg. <laughs> yeah, I have that feeling every day. <laughs> Extreme close up. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Okay, that's really clever. He's gonna pee on him. He's gonna pee on him, and it's gonna be terrible. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> he went too fast. <laughs> I wonder if this is how Sonic felt when he first realized he had super speed. He just rocketed through the ceiling and it's just like, whoops. Dan, 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 da da So is he just moving really slow or is Gumball moving so fast everything else is making it slow? I believe it is the latter. Everything's alright, but then he died for real. No, it's fine. It wasn't the same ever since he came into contact with that toilet water. Ah, uh, everything turned out fine. There's no need for a part two after all. Ah, uh, there's bound to be something. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> and then he couldn't remove his head from the fishbowl. Oh. Really? <laughs> God damn it. They had to hit us with the cliche right at the goddamn end. And there's no credits here. I would have liked to have seen the credits, but eh, that's what you get for taking rips off the internet, I suppose. All right, folks, load up uh, episode two, just while we uh, banter about the first one. I really enjoyed that. I was surprised by how snappy the comedy was. Well, they had to fit a lot in 10 minutes, so they definitely did a good job of making sure the pace was constant and that the jokes were fast-hitting, but they didn't really overstay their welcome. Some could argue the whole goldfish thing, but I felt they did a good enough job with that one before it got too tiresome because they just threw in just utterly absurd scenarios, like a literal, a literal plant coming out and kicking the goldfish bowl. Like, I did not see that coming. Yeah, for sure, mate, for sure. Okay, we have episode two of Origins ready, so uh, here we go. In three, two, one. Now, I'm pretty sure there's a Rugrats episode that follows this same story beat, like when uh, Cynthia gets flushed down the toilet or whatever, so uh, let's hope Darwin doesn't end with such a uh, messy fate. Hopefully not. Um, less trips down the sewers, the better, generally speaking, unless that's your profession, in which case, uh, well, you can't really help it. I'm pretty sure none of this happened. <laughs> <laughs> Ha 
It's more that he actually hit the flusher as well that gets me. Man, the budget for Finding Nemo 3 just kind of cratered, honestly. <laughs> And they're just staring intently, much like the audience at home. Yes, indeed. We can't talk, young one. A stranger from the outside. Oh, I love the squ like SpongeBob SquarePants method of fish just like upright when they talk. Oh uh, yes. Have you watched any of the SpongeBob stuff recently? I haven't actually, but I've heard it's actually sort of a return to form. Oh yeah, I've heard pretty much the same. It started off really, really great, then sort of had, like, a weird lull sort of in the middle, but then it sort of found itself again, and then it'll do really, really good again. Well, the original showrunner came back, like, after the second movie, didn't it? I believe so, yes. I'm a little sketchy on the details in that one, but it sounds right. Oh, alright, what's going on now? The big jump, Volk! The big jump is happening! <laughs> Not as dramatic as Free Willy, but I'll give it a pass. Oh my god, Darwin beached himself, and he crushed our boy! Suddenly Undertale reference. You must live! Your soulmate needs you! Oh. <laughs> wow. I gotta say, it's interesting to have um, a stepdad in, like, a relationship whose son doesn't, like, immediately hate him off the bat, so that's refreshing. Oh yeah, absolutely. You don't get to see it very often. Usually the stepdad is considered almost, not quite the villain, but the sort anime, of like a mini-antagonist, yeah. so it's quite refreshing to see a situation where that's absolutely not the case. I mean, that doesn't mean he escapes the Homer Simpson archetype. No one can escape the Homer Simpson archetype. Nope. Not even Homer Simpson himself. And it's named after him. I know the song as well. I, I thought we were going to get this in the Steven Universe, but uh, don't forget to see you memeing it up about Lion King back there, by the way. <laughs> I'm more impressed by the fact that through the power of friendship, he grew literal lungs out of his heart. Power of cartoons, I suppose. That's a possum. Uh, probably should leave it alone. <laughs> oh my god. Are we going <laughs> to see a live anthropomorphic fish die on screen? Aww. <laughs> god damn it. Can someone get this poor fish some water, please? Even if it's just a glass. Well, buy him a taxi and call him an Uber. Just do something, god damn it. <laughs> See? This is why they didn't just take the eagles to Mordor. <laughs> like they just slapped the bird as soon as he came out. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Oh my god! That's like something out of Red and Stimpy right there. Oh, again, Spongebob, like the mid-seasons. Oh yeah. I don't need it. <laughs> They circle. The birds, they circle walk. No! You must live! <laughs> what the fuck? Seriously? Play, please stop talking. Oh, is he gonna go legs now? Get up, you fool! He's a freak! It's like, God damn it! now I need to buy shoes! So what is Darwin, exactly? Apart from a very clever evolutionary pun. Mutant goldfish. Quite literally. That is a Father Ted joke. <laughs> I actually remember a similar joke in Mechalop 
in Metalocalypse. Yeah, yeah. Where they go to a uh, tribute act, and it's like, no, 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 it's an optical illusion. The stage is really far away. Walks forward and hits the stage. Oh my god, it's tiny! <laughs> there we go. No one knows who Darwin is, though. I don't think they've, like, even adopted him yet. Sweet, sweet nachos. <laughs> I'm loving all, like, the different styles of animation. Like, I knew what was going to happen going in. Fucking chinigans, really? <laughs> they really are throwing all the stops for this one. Helpful, Richard. Very helpful. <laughs> He's trying, damn it. <laughs> I like how it's serious, but it also has a very comedic tone. Like, um, other shows that I won't mention sometimes go either or, but I like this. Oh, he was right there! Come on! I sense him. Jesus. This thing turns on the series on a dime. Not gonna lie, but if I was maybe a few years younger, I'd probably find it pretty difficult to keep up with this. <laughs> That's actually the first variant of that joke I've ever seen in a cartoon. Give it a couple of seconds. No! <laughs> Seriously? Thank you. I'm glad they got to the point as quick as possible, though. Oh, yeah, I can appreciate that. Especially with only two minutes to go. We need to start wrapping this up soon. <laughs> Richard, you have no room to talk, mate. Please don't run him over. Okay, phew. Thank God for that. Oh, we spoke too soon. <laughs> this is adding insult to injury now. Come on. Oh, for Pete's sake. Oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> God damn it. I really tried to think what the show must have been like near the beginning because if it's anywhere half as good as this, I've been missing out. Yeah, so um, it did get apparently a lot more satirical as time went on, though. Oh, yeah. I mean, I imagine they probably threw in quite a few references in real world, um, I guess, fads. I suppose. Oh, don't tell me they're going to get hit by another car. <laughs> Please don't get hit by another car, for the love of God. Yay! Heartmates complete! Hurrah! The power of love. Magic, I ain't got to explain shit. <laughs> the booties. The booties of friendship. 
And he never did. They're my special booties, damn it. Oh boy. <laughs> All right, I guess we're not getting a song. Nah, uh, nah. Suppose we couldn't with like five seconds left. No, well, they could have done it, but uh, thankfully they didn't. Okay, guys, that was uh, episodes twenty and twenty-one of the Amazing World of Gumball, season four, the Origins Part One and Two. I really enjoyed that. What about you, Volk? It was positively rib tickling. I enjoyed it immensely. Not really much else to say. I mean, it just had so many just weird jokes that you just couldn't help but laugh at because they take you off guard and then they sort of throw in the obvious ones in there just to make sure your guard isn't kept quite high enough yeah for sure for sure the animation was great comedic timing on point i'm kind of sad that i've missed out on the show as it's running but uh hey i've got a whole series waiting for me should i wish to go back so uh yeah thank you very much potk for commissioning this uh remember guys if you want your own tv comms you can have upwards of an hour's worth now so that can be like I don't know, six, ten minute episodes like Gumball here. Uh, you could have free 23 minute ones because I'm not going to quibble credits and intros here and there. Or you could have like an hour long episode or any combination up to an hour. Just uh, make sure you check the prices on the site. And remember, you don't have to do them in chronological order. Like, these weren't episodes one and two of the series of a whole. These were all the way in season four. So uh, have a pick, mix and match, and uh, yeah, please Try and support Hellfire Comms on Patreon. See you next time for another Hellfire Comms Patreon TV Com. Bye bye.